Hey guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Save the Planet. Drinking your juice? Well, are you? I bet you're not. <laughs> guys, your life is passing you by. You're not going to get it back. Go for it, baby. Go for it. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Has to do along the lines with what um, we're talking about this morning with Zion Williamson. Uh, Russell Westbrook, give me a month. Now, Russell Westbrook's demise, even if you want to call it that, I, I don't think he's lost that much at all. But if there is, it is not nearly the same thing as Zion. Okay? Now, I think much of what Russell Westbrook has lost is he's not on a good team. And he's not on a team that will make the best of his abilities. Okay, so put that aside for a minute. There's no question he's absolutely 100% lost a step. He was one of the quickest guys, the quickest guy in the NBA for many years. He's not that anymore. He's still extremely quick. but. He's lost some. Uh, he can't jump nearly as high as he used to. Now, he was never a great outside shooter, but I'll tell you what, man. When you lose just a little bit of lift on your jump shot, that's enough, that's enough to take you from a 50% you know, shooter down to a 43% shooter. It's just as simple as that, guys. Um, and the fact of the matter is, when you're losing some of your vertical, Guys, let me ask you this. Let's just say he's, what, 6'1", 6'2", and weighs 195. Okay? I have no idea what his, you know, dimensions are. His uh, weight and all that sort of stuff. But let's just give him that. 6'2", 195. Okay? Is it going to be easier to jump higher at 6'2", 195, or 6'2", 195? 180. Of course, you're going to get more lift. There's less that you have to push up there. Okay? Are you going to be able to quicker, be quicker and run faster down the court if you are at 195 or 180? Duh. Right? I mean, it's just, it's just common sense. And I'm not saying he has to lose weight in the traditional sense, but he would lose weight very, very naturally and get more strength, flexibility, and endurance if he gave me a month out of his life. Okay? And as I said, for the most part, he would flourish on a different team. I don't think he's lost that much. He's the same player. But he's just lost just enough when you are, depending on your quickness and your, your, your burst, and everything in your vertical and all of a sudden you just lose a little bit little bit of that you have to offset it in different ways now if he turned him into himself into a better outside shooter he could have been just as effective but he hasn't done that so that little diminish that little smidgen of his vertical that little bit of his quickness is just enough to take him from you know an MVP caliber player to merely an all-star you see what I'm saying? Now Zion just dropped off the end of the end of the world. I mean, he doesn't, you know. But uh, anyway, now I know he lifts weights. I know he has an absolutely terrible diet, hideous diet. He comes right out and says it. He's a junk food addict and all this stuff because he's not getting enough carbs. I, I mean, that's all there is to it. Now, if you put the fruits, veggies, and sugars into his diet along with corn, he'd get all that sugar and he wouldn't be, you know, taking years off his career and his, um, and his performance by eating junk food. He wouldn't crave it. I'm telling you, he w I don't crave junk food. M&M's, candy bars, I don't crave that at all. I don't crave that at all. Most fruitarians, most uh, high carb look, don't. They're getting it. They're getting it. So anyway, 
Russell Westbrook, what I would do, give him a month. Now, he would be hesitant, give me a month. He would be hesitant to do a cleanse during the, during the year. He wouldn't have to. He, his performance would go through the roof if he did a cleanse. And I'm not talking about starving yourself. I'm not talking you have to sleep more or anything. Oh, Christ, you're gonna have, you, you'll have to sleep less. Like Zion, have somebody make four or five gallons of juice, both vegetable and uh, fruit. Drink it all day long. Never go hungry. Get off the coffee. Get off the Red Bulls. Get off the 500 and five-hour energies. And guys, guys, that's true power. Put him on the kettlebell instead of the conventional weights. His jumping and his athletic ability, his explosion, would come back overnight. A year from now, if he stayed on this protocol, he could play another 10 years easy and better than this level that he's given you now if he adapted true power, not the fake stuff, true power. Guys, and this is true for every single one of you out there. You adopt the true power, guys. The world is yours, Chico, and everything in it. Love you all. We'll talk again.